Hello everyone, Osiris with you here, yet again, and um, I have a new vape to unbox and test today, that I just so happen to get from Victory Vaping Dalesford yet again. Um, they are my go-to shop, I love going there, like there's not really any other places around my area or in any other area I can think of, besides Melbourne of course, but that's a bit too far. But anyway, I've got myself... Um, the Smock Mag Baby Kit. I've been looking at getting one of these for a while. I actually wanted the um, bigger version of the Mag Kit, but I could only afford the Baby Kit this time, but I'm still happy to have it because it's like a gun on the trigger. All right, I'm gonna whack her open. Actually, I'll just yeah, pull the plastic off and then read out what's inside it for you. I'll show you one. Um, show you on the screen because I don't really want to go on too much. You can pause it on there to see what's inside of it and I'll show you. Here we go. That's what's inside of it. You can get a good look at that. Give that a pause if you'd like to know what's inside. Just quickly go over it. The mod. Ooh, the Prince Tank. Very nice. TFV12 Prince Tank. Um, V8 Baby Coils pre-installed. Dual coil, another coil, replacement glass tube, USB cable, US man user manual, and spare parts. Okay, I just read through it anyway. <clears throat> right, how does this open? Okay, looks like. There we go, just slides out. Not as easy as the Vapresso Polar, because I love that little tab that just slid that out. It's just in one of your regular smock boxes, looks very nice. It's normally the best way to get that, give it a bit of a shake because. Oh, wow, that is small. Did not think it was going to be that small. Wow. Oh, what? Oh, it feels heavy. Look at the size of that for a mod. Oh my goodness. That is so small. My goodness. Oh. Pretty nifty little thing, though. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I've got the silver one, as you can see, but that's really small. Looks cool, though. Feels a good weight as well. Just got the tab to pull that up. Here's the user manual. Okay. Working girl. Okay, yeah. Yeah, oh, 50 watts maximum, okay. That's a little, little beauty. A little beauty. And we have the Prince Tank that I'm keen to try. Oh, wow, that is a nice drip tip. Look at that drip tip. It's sparkly and black and got like a reptile-like skin sort of a look to it. Wow, it looks really cool. I'll just make sure that's screw it in properly when I put it on the tank. Screw it in nicely. Okay. okay, I think that's well and truly on there. Okay. Screw that on. Oh, it's pretty cool. Goes together well. Nice little mod kit. Very nice, I like that. That's really actually quite cool. Good little size. Very cool. <laughs> it's a cute little tank there. Got a USB charger. Another spare one. Leave that in there. And I've got a spare coil, which is nice. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, this is nice. Very nice. I'm just gonna have to buy more. More coils for another different bait. Ah, oh, here we go. Warranty, test control. Pass. That's always good to know. Okay. Time to fill it up with some liquid. And I'm going to wait about 15 minutes for that liquid to soak. So I'm just going to give it a fill. And let it soak for 15 minutes. But I'm going to, yeah, let it soak. Oh, yeah, very nice. Oh, wow! Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, well. There's a... 
That's incredible. They've finally done it. They put a little button here on the side of the opening to fill your liquid, if you can see that sticking out the side. So to open it, you press that and then push it. So it's got a button lock on and it opens with a button rather than it just opening when you turn it. But that's really cool. So you gotta press the button down to open. I love that idea. I'm going to fill it up with my new liquid, Pachamama, Mango, Pita Ya and Pineapple Wood. It's a new fluid in stock, 70% VG, 30 PG, and it smells incredibly good and pretty. So this is quick to fill up, which is good because it comes out really quickly, which is really good to know. Ready, watch this. It'll fill straight up. And that's filled. As easy as that. Put a little more in because that's going to go through the coil. Uh, normally I would um, soak the coil separately and then put it in there separately with the coil soaked separately, but I just um, I'll do it this way. So, I'm going to leave that for about 15 20 minutes. Time to let it sit. Okay. Um, I've let this soak, and unfortunately, I came back to it and it looked like it had been leaking. So I've just had to screw it in again. Hopefully it's in properly now. I'm still a bit worried it's gonna leak again. Cause I couldn't separate it from the top to screw into the coil. But um, I've let it, the batteries charge, it was at 90% when I done it. It's definitely soaked now cause I've been fiddling around for ages getting it dry and filling it up again. <clears throat> just check this. Um, yeah, atomizer. Yeah. Atomizer, there we go. Just hold it down to select new atomizer. Okay, it's reading. It's 0 0.6 ohms. Very good. Okay, puff count three. I haven't even puffed it. Okay, this is the moment. I put it to 45 watts. Um. Um. 20 to 50 watts, okay, that's good for the coil, so I'll put it at, actually, um, 34, I think I'll go, 34 watts, okay, I don't think it's leaking anymore, that's good, I hope it's not leaking anymore, ah, oh, it's squirted out everywhere, it's still leaking, Okay, I think I've solved the leaking issue. I really hope so. But if this leaks again, that's going to suck. But I've had to, it was on quite tight, so I was thinking maybe it was on there securely. It doesn't seem to be leaking now. Oh. And there's more coming through. I've screwed it on as tight as I can. Well, without going too tight of course and um still seems to be leaking and I've chosen a new atomizer on there so you choose your atomizer there you go okay it's firing so I've chosen 34 watts Should be really nice. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. I hope it doesn't leak again. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice little, for a lower wattage. Hmm, it's quite nice. Not getting any spittle. 
and it looks like it's not leaking now. Hmm. I like it, I've set it to 34 watts. It says it goes between um, uh, what I read before, here we go. 0 0.6 ohms, 20 to 50 watts. So it's perfect coil for the 50 watt range on this. Um, the coil's well and truly soaked, so that's good. Yeah, there's some good clouds for that. And it doesn't seem to be leaking now, so that's really good. Very good. I just recommend, because I've had this problem with my cloud beast tank as well, with your smock tanks, when you get a new smock tank, and it may look like it's all completely assembled and looks ready to roll. Um, I've had previously, my past two smock tanks, actually every one, I've gotten pre-assembled, ready to, appar apparently ready to go. Um, they're not ready to go, you gotta, I mean, with my experience, you've got to pull them apart and put them back together yourself um, so it's actually ready to rumble because I think it's, it's slightly just needs some assembly required on your tank, you know, pull it apart and put it back together before you use it because I feel that they're not quite fully in there properly and I seem to have leak issues every time. And it's not leaking now. Wow, that's really nice. That's really nice. And the flavour of that is amazing. I'll get the flavour again for you. Here we go, this flavour is amazing. Um, Charlie's Chalk Dust is the brand. Pachamama Mango Pita Pineapple. Pitya. By Charlie's Chalk Dust. It's amazing, it's quite a really nice flavour. But the vape production on this is really good for 34 watts. I've set it to, I didn't want to max it out or have it too low. Vape production's amazing. Wow. Thick clouds too. Um Yeah. I really like it. It's a nice little compact vape. I'm just gonna have to hold it like that so I feel like I've got a gun. Not shooting myself in the mouth, but I'm shooting that way. Shooting me nose or something. Mmm, getting the flavours in your mouth really nicely. Mmm. Yeah, 75 bucks for that kit. Just get your own liquid. I recommend it. That's really good for 75 bucks. It's a nice little bait. I'll test it out over a week or so and see how it's still rolling. Crackles a bit. Maybe really light spittle in my mouth. Probably because it was leaking before and I had to reassemble it. But quite good. Mmm, the flavours. On my mouth, they're just so tasty, so very tasty. Yep, yet again, smock mag baby kit. Excellent little thing. Just make sure you put the screw in the tank properly um, by yourself. Um, don't just, um, I wouldn't just put it straight on and think, you know, that'll be fine, let's rumble. Because I can guarantee it'll leak and you'll. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you'll probably take it back. Hey, it's broken, it's leaking. It's bloody not working properly. I've got an issue with it. Um, 
it should be fine. You just got to reassemble it yourself and assemble it again. So you pull it apart and reassemble it again, the tank, so you know it's all in together because um, they're not going to be perfect. And that's and it's not leaking anymore because I put it back together myself. Alright, all in all, quick little um, video. I'm trying to do quick um, unboxing videos because sometimes they take quite, quite some time to do, like 20 minutes odd. I'm trying to do them in under 10 minutes. But um, yeah, this might go for a bit longer, but I'll try and cut out as, what, as, what, as much as I can. So you get the idea of what it's like as quick as possible without having to hear too much about stuff you don't want to know about. Cool. Alright guys, all the best. Stay metal, stay true to metal, keep on vaping, stay off the durries as much as you can. I must admit I had a weak moment the other day, I had a couple. But um, I'm trying to just get to the point where I don't want any at all whatsoever, which I'm actually getting to that point because I'm... It smells like crap and it tastes like crap. It just brings back childhood memories, so that's a bit of a rough rough patch. I didn't have the best childhood, but it just reminds me of being a kid having a ciggy. Which is a bit sad because I shouldn't be smoking a kid. But, um, yeah, this is a little bit about me and my history, but oh well. Yeah, I'm just trying to stay off the ciggies. That's what I was trying to get at. Stay off the dozens. They're just bad for you. Much better for you to inhale the vapor. Recommend it highly. Alright, keep on vaping guys, stay true to metal, and Huru here from Osiris. Bless you all. Bye. Renderforest.com